to create an explosion. Have to create an explosion. Have to create mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. The Maya Tree of Life, also known as Yashe, plants its roots in the underworld and then passes through our world as its branches extend all the way into paradise. Lurking somewhere inside the world tree is its Samye, a bird god who is said to know all the secrets of the three planes of existence through which the world tree grows. Have to create an explosion. to get on that platform. From its roots in the underworld, sheltering bats, it grows straight and true. Its trunk holds the realm of men fast, and its branches spread its white leaves across the night sky. Have to get on that platform. This seems to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human. <laughs> Have to create an explosion.
It's not far now. Just have to get up there. to get on that platform. All full up, can't carry anymore. Have to get on that platform. to get on that platform. to get impossible I can't carry any more this seems to be some kind of primitive It's not far now, just have to get up there.
to climb. to climb. Have to climb. to climb. Have to climb.
full up. Can't carry any more. Eighteenth of December, 1604. I've neglected this journal for far too long. We've worked hard to build the mission. Every day more people arrive. Native villagers seeking conversion. Soldiers tired of war. Others whose faith has been tested by the long, dangerous journey through the jungle. All lured by Lopez's gospel of purity through labor. We work from sunrise to sunset. And then Lopez, or Angel de la Cruz as he now calls himself, spends his evening preaching the mission's purpose, to test the Chosen One. He's calmed considerably, and if he believes something pursues him still, he keeps it to himself. Tomorrow we begin to build the library, where the box will safely rest until it is ready to be found by the Chosen One. That. I don't hear anything. Exactly. She must be close. She? The Empress Jaguar. As soon as she shows up, every other animal shuts up. No need to attract her attention, right? Right. 
Shouldn't we be quiet too then? I don't have enough space for that. Abby, can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well, I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella. Another member of the field study. I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find El Dorado. This is serious. We had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please, continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but... It's all right. We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more, but... Neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah, they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true. Because Sarah insists on her team being very down-to-earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere. Even if most of it is made up, there'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint, too. Anyway, there's an old blind man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret crypt hidden around here, and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused, and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward, and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off? Yes. To as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night. That's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I can never forgive myself. All right. You stay here, so if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You'd do that? To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. You're overreacting. Are you kidding? She wasted enough of my... Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. Hello there. I have all kinds of stuff. I'm sure you will be satisfied. That's a good deal for both of us. Good deal. Pleasure doing business with you, friend. So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Why secret? If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Let me know when you're ready to go. 
Someone once said if you really want to learn about a town, you have to visit their graveyard. <laughs> Calling me a witch? <laughs> Imagine. I'm sorry? I'm a herbalist. A shamefully unrecognized branch of medical science. And that child's grandmother was a dowser. The things people ignore that are right in front of their noses. Some people are afraid to believe in what they can't understand. Ha! Huh, you sound like Isa. Isabella? The archaeologist. You know her. A smart girl. A good researcher. And unafraid to admit there are things she doesn't know. She's the one who broke the cross. By climbing on it. I don't know what was in her head. I tried to stop her, but she was very upset about something. Angry and full of grief at the same time. Do you know where she is now? I'm looking for her. I don't know. After the cross broke, she ran away, but I didn't see which direction. In the state she was in, I knew better than to try to interfere with her. I'm sorry. That's all right. You've given me more information than I had. Do you need some help with this cross? I do. But first we have to get those children out of the way. It isn't safe for them to be running around while we work. That blind trickster filled their heads with tales of treasure, and they think I mean to steal it. I'll talk to them. Hey, get away from here. It's our treasure. It's getting quite late. How about postponing the hunt until tomorrow? No, we're not leaving till we find it. We'll sleep here if we have to. Oh, I hope it doesn't come to that. Is there anything I can do to help? No, we told you. You're not getting our treasure. Manu said if we find it, we can keep it. Hmm, that's a shame. The sisters told me you were very good at sharing, and I do know a lot about treasure hunting. You know the sisters? She could tell on us. I won't tell if you won't tell. I have a secret too. I'm the brave adventurer Lara Croft. Whoa! We won't tell. You can help us. If you find the treasure, we'll split it, even. You've got a deal. What do you need? Manu told us we need to solve a riddle to find the treasure. Are you any good at riddles? I'm an expert. Let's hear it. I want you to take my supply. I'm nourished when the heavens cry. If I get sick, a village dies. Who, Who am, am I? I? You must do something to get those children out from under food. <laughs> you figure out the riddle yet? Manu told us we need to solve a riddle to find the treasure. I want you to take my supply. I'm nourished when the heavens cry. If I get sick, a village dies. Who am I? I? How can we lift this with them playing around us? Manu told us we need to solve a riddle to find the treasure. I want you to take my supply. I'm nourished when the heavens cry. If I get sick, a village dies. Who, Who am, am I? I? Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the system. The door closed and a silence settled. So great and so vast, I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild. A smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, 
arms outstretched, and for a moment, fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room, walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. Talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. <clears throat> the others are worried that Brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. Twenty-fifth of December, 1603. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles, guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey. Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces. Twenty-sixth of December, 1603. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said, a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow, for only he who does will be worthy of this box. Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. John, son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the Beloved Disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges. Sons of Thunder. John is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, 
the Gospel of John, the Three Epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. He is the patron saint of love and loyalty, as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup, which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns. be darkened and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened and under his wings you may seek refuge. That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived, and Sister Dorothea had been ill for many weeks. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, De La Cruz had recruited a workforce of three dozen. They had prepared the bell tower and worked the fields, planting crops. Brother De La Cruz aims to make us self-sufficient. We'd spent so long alone out here, I'd worried we'd lose God's ear. Lo and behold, we not only had his ear, but he sent another to act as his hands as well. Tardaremos eternidades. Cuántos años? Un paso a la vez. Un día a la vez, como si tuviéramos elección. Stone faces weep as Jesus creeps along the dolorous path. Too many died. More will still. And more will still, and more will still. His light leads the way. It looks like it's from the 17th century. 